tutorial. In this video I want to talk a little bit about my RStudio setup. As you might have noticed my RStudio could look a little bit different than the one you are using. This is because I have changed some of the appearance defaults to something that I find more comfortable to work in. Here I'm showing the global options of our studio, which you can find under the tools menu. The first thing I changed from the defaults is this default working directory. I like to have just a separate folder such that the R environment or some files that are just saved, um, but I'm not really like using them in a project or whatever. It's just like a quick analysis. I just don't want them to clutter my uh, home folder. And therefore I created this R tests uh, folder in my documents folder where I save all this stuff by default. The second thing I like to change is the appearance of our studio. Uh, this could look a little bit different uh, in your setup because this is somewhat uh, operating system um, dependent. As you might have guessed, my operating system is Ubuntu, but it should work just the same in any other operating system that you're using RStudio with. So one thing you can change is the editor font. You can choose ones that you have installed here. Those might be different than the ones um, that I have here. And then you can see a preview of what the font would look like. You can also uh, change the font size. That looks a little big. And you can choose the editor theme. Um, I like dark themes better, but you could also use uh, something like this, which is a light theme, or whatever you find comfortable. There are a lot of themes to choose from. So if you then click on apply, you will notice that RStudio reloads with those new defaults. If we then open a new R script, we can see that we have this new font everywhere. This is it for my setup. Have fun playing with RStudio and thank you for watching. See you soon.